everyone. In this Modern Drive video, we're going to go over uh, redirect with a fun little tunnel or body roll for the gal. All right, so we're just gonna start with a Manhattan movement. I'm gonna over exaggerate my movement a little bit so I can tell Kerry something's coming, create a little bit of an action, drop the hand down to allow her time to style it, come out, and then dance again. So if I were to do that from the other side, Seven, eight, one, two. Oh, sorry, I totally forgot what I was doing. <laughs> seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. We did that pretty slow. I did it fast. <laughs> you were holding. <laughs> I'll do it slower so he doesn't have the whole. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. I mean, really, you're going to fit this to the timing of the music. And what we're trying to do is encourage in modern drive to stop dancing so many patterns and add flavor to be more musical. Because a lot of times you'll see the modern drivers, we dance it, and the poor girl's going again, and then the poor girl's going again, and then we're like, oh yeah, go again. <laughs> and she never stops, and the music doesn't that do that. So what I do, I have a little more openness in my upper body by stepping in a little bigger, and a little more open. He sets the radius very circular and large, so if you have a big barrel, he's riding around the circumference. And I feel like if I want Kerry to turn in a particular right. timing, so that's more tight, I keep it as a halo. But if I step in and then I lower the hand a little bit, it creates space. A window. So if I, if I move over here, do you see there's a window between us I can peek through? So his elbow is up, he's keeping his hand such where my elbow One, is down, his two. is up. So I could add this arm or I don't need to, but right now I'm going to add it so he knows Because she's going to die. Don't in. finish too quickly because I've got this idea. So I'm going to stick my hand through the uh, window and then like a little chipmunk poking, <laughs> poking its head out of its nest in a tree, I'm going to poke the head through and unwind before we're ready to and That's how I could do it in a six count. Shift the weight, shift the weight, ready to go. If we were to do it and I didn't use the arm, I would really trust my partner enough where I would only be doing it with the head, which if I'm not acquainted with my partner as much, I want to add the arm in and give him some notice. Yeah, seven, eight, one, two. Oh, God, I keep forgetting. <laughs> What yes, move it on can then? be from a rock step, but it's going to really set the yeah, circumference yeah, yeah, yeah. if it's a... I want to open it up early, because otherwise the girl's got to try and guess the movement. So let's do a basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I'm going to tease her up the basic, because my body's more prepped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. And really do it as fast or as slow to the music and don't pull the girl off her feet. So all as I'm doing, once I've done my basic move and I'm getting set and I'm like, I'm ready, I'm changing to a Manhattan, lifting that arm, making the frame a little bigger, not too big, big, not full extension, and then bringing the hand, I've got to turn that hand over and then hold. And then she gets to look through. I shift over to help the rotation because I feel she's coming in back round. And Kerry's really planting on, planting on that left foot and then spinning. So let's go. I actually rocks from my right, left to right to left. All right, so. basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, left, seven, right, eight. Left. One, two. That time I kept my footwork up. So just to address that for the follows, you've just done your rock of the Manhattan. So we're rocking forward on the left. Taking the step, shifting our weight to the right, shifting our weight to the left, holding that right foot until we're ready to go. It's exactly like a regular inside roll. Rock, step, walk, walk, hold, and be ready. I'm not changing the footwork. I'm only changing the upper body there. All right, have we done it with my bottom to the camera? I haven't done it that way. <laughs> Seven, eight, basic. In, boom, boom. Boom, boom. And that time I thought Kerry make it what felt a little more circular. elliptical, circular. Mm -hmm. So I, I stepped out to the side to try and help her get through. So in dance, we're always trying to adapt and adjust to each other. And if we can do that, it may not feel perfect, but it'll still work. And you'll come out and go, wow, how did I do that? 
Because because we were a little forgiving for each other and we're more adaptable or prepared to adjust. I just want to add one last tip in there to let your partner know when you're coming across almost being done as going. I'm going to decide my little traveling return into it for something different. Sure. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right here. So we're shifting our weight. We're ducking, we're poking our head out of the nest in the tree. When I want to let the leader know that I'm coming to the end, what I'll do is I'll start straightening up. I'll start moving my hand down to the waist. You'll feel that we've run out of room in our tether so that arm will really turn you around. And that lets him know how far you are through the movement and how soon he should be getting ready to be done. And you can see by my little swivel there, I just wanted to show you how connected we still are. She'll pull him on me, but I go, oh, I can feel she's done. I could add or continue on with that. Now, just talking about when we set this move up, I open my frame a little bit more. I step across. I move that left foot to where I need it to be. Kerry puts that hand under her armpit. I make a weight change and an adjustment, and then I'm ready to go again. Don't be scared. If you need to change weight, change wherever you need. This is a swing dance. We could be doing whatever footwork we need. Once you're doing advanced movements, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's do traveling in turn for this side. So, mm -hmm. seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Now, I just want to talk about. Did you talk about putting that hand under the armpit? I, I mentioned it there, I couldn't remember. I actually talked about feeding the arm through. So if we can do it sideways, rock, step, I said with that window happening, that this arm is gonna feed through. So what she's talking about is the right hand for the follows is going to come to the armpit, kind of like a chicken wing maneuver. And that allows us to have that pivot point don't switch hands, honey. Just that pivot point right there from which to turn by. That's the way you're able to have clearance to stand up and drop it to your hip as you finish. Yeah, so, you know, there's a lot of different things we could do there, but just remember, allow that hand to stay connected, adjust your body to suit, and um, practice. Break it down. Go over one point, come back, go over the other, and you'll work it out.